Hey everyone, check it out. I painted a thing. It's not particularly impressive, but I painted it last week. I signed up for some painting classes because I wanted to learn how to paint a little bit more. I've wanted to paint for a while. I stumbled across Bob Ross videos a couple years back and it, it created a little bit of an itch that I wanted to paint something. I've actually had an itch for a while now. It's um, a little creative itch. I don't know where it came from exactly, uh, but it's been there. It's kind of been niggling away at me over time. I first scratched it two years ago. That's when Jim and I did our first round of challenges. Uh, I did the doodle a day challenge in 2016 and I've got a link down below to the Tumblr if you want to go and check it out. I hadn't drawn in a while. I wanted to fix that. I had doodled all through high school, mostly superhero stuff. Uh, I tried branching out a bit, but it didn't really go anywhere. After university, I carted around all these old sketchbooks, but I never made the dedicated time to practice until 2016, eventually I decided I had to make it. It's the same story when Jim and I started the podcast. I wanted to make something, make it permanent and put it out there. And Jim and I happened to be on the same wavelength about that. Same with the website. I started the website so I had an excuse to write, something that I would create and again, put it out there. I treat my Instagram page the same way. Uh, I never post pictures of myself because I don't find that to be very interesting. Instead, I take pictures of what I see, you know, from my point of view out in the world, what I find interesting and the things that I tend to make. Heading into last year, I was really disappointed that I wasn't playing enough music. So Jim and I did the music challenge where we covered a, a song every month. And I put a link down below to that as well on our SoundCloud. At the start of this year, when I was setting my goals for the quarter, uh, I identified that I wanted to paint. It's been something that I've wanted to do for a while, and I decided to basically put my money where my mouth is. I found a local art store that was running classes, and I committed financially to joining the class and learning how to paint. Last week was our first class. It's a beginner acrylics class, and that was when I painted on my first time through. Uh, is it perfect? No. Uh, do I like looking at it? Yeah, actually, I'm quite happy with it. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it, it brings me joy. I came home from that class and I just, I wanted to keep painting right away. I mean, it was like 10 o'clock at night. I couldn't, but um, I had so much fun just mixing the paints and, and trying things out on my palette. I felt so much joy in, in the act of creating. The kind of demiurge within me felt satisfied in the creation, but it was also hungry for me to make more things. It's really weird that way. I don't know how else to describe it. It's like having a demon in you that demands that you create things on the altar for sacrifice. And uh, that doesn't even make any sense, but it lives between the spaces of this kind of paradox of create and destroy or create and sacrifice. You offer tributes of yourself to it. It's satisfaction only hungers for more. And that's the only way I can describe this kind of sense of creation. I want to make things and put them out there. I want to learn things. And it's not just art. It's not just music, you know, and that's why it's multiple mediums. And so I paint and I draw and I make music and I write blog posts and I film vlogs. All of this in tribute to this kind of creative urge. I don't even see myself as a very creative person. I've joked around with Jim that I'm a little bit more of a technician, you know, an applied artist of the craft. But in creation, I, I satisfy that drive to make. And so... That's why I make stuff. Stay awesome.